What's up, modern steaders? Today I thought I would take you through and show you how we have our seed starting area set up. We're up in northern New Hampshire where we still have about at least a foot of snow on the ground and today is March 20th, the first day of spring. Woohoo! Hopefully that snow will be melting pretty soon. But in the meantime, we really can't start any plants outside or anything. We'll start them in the basement. We have our heat mat down here we start them on. And then once they sprout, we have our grow light and we put them in bigger, we use soil blocks. I'll take you along and I'll show you the process of what we do there. So you can see here, we got some seeds st sprouted. They started growing already. We have them in small soil blocks right now. It is our broccoli, cab, um, cauliflower, cabbage that have really started sprouting good. We got a few tomatoes that are germinated. Our peppers haven't. What we're going to do today is we're going to make some bigger soil blocks so we can transplant these starts into a bigger block. And we're going to make some more small ones and try some different tomato seeds. I still have some of my soil mixed up from when I made my smaller blocks. It's been sitting in the basement and it's dried out. So I need to add some water to get it to like a cake-like batter consistency again. The way you know your soil is ready to start making soil blocks with it is get it to like a cake-like batter consistency and then just try pushing it together making like a snowball and compact it. If it stays together good, it's the perfect consistency. So I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to take my medium-sized soil block maker. With these ones started, we're actually going to lower this light lower so it's just a little bit off those seedlings. We don't want them to have to keep growing and getting long. We want them to get thicker. If they're getting long, that means they're reaching too far for the sun. Another great way you can germinate seeds and you don't need to use soil is you need some coffee filters, some Ziploc bags, and then the seeds of your choice. Melanie over at Road to the Farm did an awesome video on this. She had it on Esther Emery's channel for the Homestead Skill of the Month Club. I'll link the video here. I won't get too much into it in detail here, but I will show you a quick little process of it. Just gonna take your coffee filter, put it in your plate with water, and lay it out on a plate that's dry. I'm just going to write down what it is. This is just a red onion. And then today's date, 320. Happy first day of spring. Now that we have all of our seeds in our wet coffee filters inside a Ziploc bag, we're just going to place them on top of our warming mat to keep them warm and help them germinate faster and with a better success rate. And then hopefully within a few days we should start seeing these seeds germinate and then we'll do a update video and we'll show you how we're going to transplant them. If you don't have a warming mat like we do, don't worry, there's a few other things you can do. Keep them on top of your refrigerator where it's warm, find a warm place in your house you can keep them. Or keep them in a shirt pocket close to your body and keep them warm with your body heat and this helps them germinate quicker. And then once they germinate we're going to transplant them and either to soil blocks, and if you don't have a soil block, I have a few other techniques I'll show you that you can do quick, easy, and cheap. So, go check out Melanie's video from Road to the Farm on the coffee filters. It gets into more details. I'll link that video again here. What's the way you've had the best success germinating your seeds? Leave it in the comments below. We'd love to hear 
what works for you and maybe we'll try it later on this year or next year. We're always looking for new ideas. We really enjoy growing our plants from seeds because it just gives us that much more control over the food we're going to be eating and the quality of it. Why do you guys enjoy starting your own plants? Leave it in the comments below. So We'll be doing update videos on our germination success and then we'll be doing update videos on transplanting. So like the video and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.